I'm already looking like a leather dioxide that's been out in the sun a little too long. But anyhow. Hey, Ewans. Welcome back to my channel. It's Winnie BLV, Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro. It's just this Barbie. Ho! <laughs> Today is a tag that, um... I won't, I'll say that we created this tag. Me, Dawn, and Jackie thought about doing this tag. Uh, but I have to say that there have been a lot of videos about Barbie core, and I uh, suspect that there will be tons more. Jesse Style already did a video. Uh, the day that I'm filming this, her video came out, actually. So uh, she did a lot of look backs uh, where Barbie core was influenced and the style and all that. It's a great video. I will tag it down below. Thank you to Jesse. But I thought about this before uh, Jesse came up with it just because I bought this shirt. <laughs> and I got this shirt, guys, at Sam's. Um, if I can find it, I will link it, of course. But I did put that if you saw floating over my head that this was a sponsored video. I was afraid not to say that this was a sponsored video because I have to tell you, I really didn't get paid or, like, sponsored. Just somebody sent me something free, which, you know, I guess, yeah, I guess that's a sponsorship. I did not think this was going to come to fruition. I just thought it was one of those things you get in your emails. I responded to it. And then, you know, I just kind of forgot about it. Like two, I want to say three, maybe even longer weeks later, um, I got the thing that was promised to me in the mail. Now I'm going to give you a true and honest, um, I guess, review of this because I have to tell you, first of all, um, I'm not sponsored. Like they didn't, they didn't like tag me and say like, here's money, go do this tag. You know what I mean? Like. They just sort of said, we'll send you this, try it out, give your honest review. I mean, they literally said that in the in the email, and I was like, okay, girl, uh, just for grins and giggles, I'll send it back in. Anyway, it is foundation, <laughs> and I love makeup. Um, I haven't worn makeup for a long time, like, there for a while, I'd get into a kind of a rut where I would wear a lot of makeup, but now I find it a necessity more than <laughs> a want. So used to, I wore makeup because, oh, I wanted to look fancy for the night or, you know, make, make myself some eye, eyebrows and eyelashes. But now I don't have hardly either eyebrows or eyelashes, so I do wear a little bit more. And I have um, concealer usually. I usually wear three layers of concealer. <laughs> I have to tell you something, and I'm being totally honest. I'm not trying to sell you something. I will link this because they did say if you like it, link it. And I did like it. I don't know much about it on the back. It says that it's a Swedish company designed by um, Mi Mikolo or Misolo in Sweden. Misilo? Okay. Well, the back says M Misilo. Yeah, it's Misilo. I can't. M-I-C-C-I-L-O. Girl, I don't know. But anyway, you for, I think it was, so when I went on the thing, it, they gave like a code to get it free I guess if you were going to talk about it on your socials. So I was like, well, girl, let me try this. And it worked. But I think to buy these, they're like 45 bucks. But, girl, you get a lot. And I used the color Nude. So I got the lightest ones. And I was just like, well, I'm going to try it out. And then I figured, you know, if it's not worth a dang, I ain't going to tell nobody. Just try it. But I have to tell you all that I do like it. And I plan on using it. It has SPF 25 in it, which I, you know, do like that. Because uh, your girl's getting up there and she needs some she needs some coverage and she needs to lessen the sun on this face, girl. I'm already looking like a leather dioxide that's been out in the sun a little too long. But anyhow, uh, I use the color nude. I think it's a little bit yellow for me, but I have what they call porcelain. Yeah, this one's porcelain, which I think is a little bit lighter. And this one is warm peach so i'll try those too but i have to tell you for two pumps i did two pumps girl i've had that happen on a date but never in a foundation <laughs> but seriously i did two pumps and i'm old school so i just did it all over my face you ever seen that um tiktoker who does that she just smears it all over her face and it goes everywhere and then at the end she's flawless she has those big cheekbones and nice cheeks but anyhow anyhow 
Uh, I did that all over my face, and then I didn't put any powder on. I did put blush on. The crazy thing is, I felt like, girl, you don't even need any concealer, so I didn't put any concealer on, which is crazy. I mean, I'm not trying to, like, pump this up or sell this brand, but I think it's worth $45. Like, I... I, I would, when I run out, I, I will replace this because I think it's really good. But anyhow, they have like four different, I think there's four or five. I know, she went into this half cock, but I think there's four or five like different, like you get the, you know, light color, then you can go to like the tan and a little, you know, medium, darker. I think there's like four maybe base colors and then they send you three different ones you can mix or you can find which one works for you and gift to somebody that's what I figure I would do <laughs> I'll try them all but this one I felt like the coverage was good I didn't need much a little bit went a long way and also the SPF factor was good and I didn't need much concealer I didn't need any concealer so maybe I kind of do need concealer I'm just like lying to myself but anyway um this is pretty good i'm gonna link it they did give me a link you know girl do what you can do if you want to check it out check it out if not girl don't blame you whatever it's up to you but um i gotta tell these people i liked it i liked it i mean first time trying it it says glow with micillo glow with micillo so mm -hmm. Anyway, okay, on to the video. So, yes, the Barbie core. So, I thought I would, uh, we would do me, uh, Jack's Bag Attack, Jackie, and Dawn of Dawn Loves Couture would do a start a tag video where you all, if you're a creator, can do your tags. If not, comment down below on what you have that is Barbie core bag related. So, I'm just going to do bags. If you want to push the envelope and do other things, girl, yes, you feel free to do whatever. But I am doing, I think I have six or seven Barbie core bags. The first one being, of course, Brandon Blackwood. This bag is Barbie core because it has the green in it too, and I love it. But it's such a beautiful color of pink, and it's beaded and sparkly. And girl, I love all things shiny, as you know. So yes, we're gonna go with this one first as being one of my Barbie core bags. This bag I love. Um, I got it last year. It's a Telfar bag. It is a Telfar and Ugg collab that I got last year. Um, they kind of dropped it when it was almost spring, so I will get some more use out of this definitely when it gets cold because I feel like it's a cold weather bag, but again, you do you, honey. But this thing, I don't know if there's any left, but I know you can find them on the preload market, but I really do love this Ugg and Shearling um, pink Barbie core type bag. <laughs> I just think it's fun and um, girl, it's pink. What else do we need, right? All right, I'm going to give some tiny, tiny bags some love that I think I just got this one that is Barbie core. It matches my shirt. Do you know I don't even have a real true pink lipstick? I got to get me a lipstick i was looking around like what who has lipstick and my daughter was like i don't even wear pink either so i'm gonna have to get on that after this anyway but this is the coach topia coach bag that i just got the other day in this beautiful pink and green because y'all know we love a pink and green queen around here yes bestie this barbie core this also is almost a weekender for barbie <laughs> <laughs> like the doll this could be luggage for her but y'all know I love tiny bags this is a Longchamp bag uh, in a mock croc and uh, I tried to crossbody this and take this little thing off but it doesn't work so well so I just like to keep it because it's adorable it's hot pink fuchsia and mm, of course it's my thing it is my thing <laughs> for sure but yeah, um, Barbie core, yes. Bring out your Barbie core, honey. Uh, this bag, the Marc Jacobs little mini, or do they call this the micro? So small or mini. Anyway, I'll link them down below. But this is also a Barbie core moment because I have a hot pink fluff ball on there too. 
So another Barbie core bag in my collection. I used to feel weird about saying collection, but now, you know, it's, it's what it is. I've created a huge collection of a lot of bags, girl. This, okay. This, hello, thank you to Meredith that I have this bag, but this is the ultimate Barbie core bag to me. I mean, those beautiful, you know, pink letters that just pop out at you. Okay, yes. And it goes from the pink up to the like purplish, mm, the, like an ombre effect. I love the sides. They go down from pink. Girl, what do you know about going down? Anyway, yeah, they go down from pink down to a purple. I am all the way here for this. Inside is adorable too. It's kind of like a lilac color. So yes, Barbie core, check. Another Barbie core bag in my collection that I love that you don't see a whole lot because I keep it on one of the lower cubby holes. Girl, I'm not gonna touch that, but it's the Coach Field Tote 22 that I bought last year. Uh, it did not come with this pink and green strap, although I knew that it needed it, and I bought this from um, someone on eBay who actually watches my channel and, and reached out to me and said, hey, I have one for sale. And I was like, I love you, I'll take it. Yes, let's do this. So I have a couple of options for this pink and green, but yeah, I like this one the best because it has the coach on there. So yeah, I've carried it a few times. I do actually love this bag and it is, you guessed it, Barbie core? <laughs> I wanna say the most outrageous Barbie core moment in the collection is definitely it's called crazy pink okay it's from tori birch a lot of people ask me about this it always sits over my shoulder um we have a little faux rodeo moment here rodeo moment whatever but yeah this is the kira top handle um i've had this a couple years i've had many people ask me about buying it um I just love it, but this to me is the ultimate top handle, and you know, one one thing that it would need would be to be shiny, and then I think it would hit all the boxes, but seriously, it's up there. This is like 99% Barbie core. <laughs> so yeah, this bag right here, not going anywhere. I love, and I just think it is the ultimate Barbie core moment okay i guess that's oh wait wait a minute hold on let me take a sip of my barbie core mug mm, topo chico <laughs> manly but i like it too seriously though topo chico i love you i have one more bag that is really pink it's bubblegum pink and it is from portland leather goods and it was gifted to me by autumn beckman Autumn is the um, aficionado of Barbie core. I'm kidding. She does not really love <laughs> Barbie core pink. But anyway, this moment here, this bubblegum pink, yes, please give me more. Uh, they also have a flamingo pink that I like in this, but I think you can only get the special totes like this. Um, by ordering one of their mystery boxes, anyhow. But check this out. I love how this one has like the hot pink on the outside and then inside the green, it's like a lighter pink. So yeah, this is a definite like, oh girl, yes. This would be the best bag to go see <laughs> the Barbie movie. If you're someone like my family who sneaks in snacks and drinks, because y'all know it costs uh, $2,000 for five people to go to the movies. <laughs> anymore it, it's almost there but you know I'm, I'm exaggerating but you know and now that I don't eat a lot of sweets and stuff I guess um, I guess it's not a factor <laughs> but we haven't been to the movies because seriously movies are very triggering for me so I can't like food wise because that is the one place that I just give myself I used to give myself permission to just go ham <laughs> on some chocolate Reese's and um, some of those little Cadbury eggs and some popcorn So and a soda. So now that those things aren't in the picture, just popcorn, but not movie theater popcorn. Um, yeah, I guess if I, okay, 
Let's just say I was going to the movies and I was back on my old ways. This would be the one girl. <laughs> it is, so. I want to see all of your Barbie core bags. Like, show us your Barbie core bags. And if you want to show us other items in your collection of pink or hot pink or Barbie core, I want to see that too. Like, whatever you want to do. So, I am going to tag virtually everyone I know. <laughs> And I would love it if you would tag me back so I can watch your video. I definitely want to see it. Definitely go over to Dawn and definitely go over to Jackie's video. And Jesse, of course, who got the conversation started in the bag world, I think I did do a search uh, of Barbie Core bags and some older videos came up, but nothing of late. So if you've done it, please let me know and I will credit you down in the description box because I don't want to leave anyone out. That's not what Barbie would do. Y'all already know. But I need you to do me a favor. Hit the subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below what you love that's in your collection that is Barbie core. And also, if y'all see my husband girl, woohoo, don't tell him nothing. Bye. Girl, seriously though, I do have some things that aren't bags that I consider Barbie core. Of course, my little cup, my little Starbucks cup that usually is meant for, um, I think, coffee, but I do coffee and cold drinks in here because it's gorgeous. It reminds me of watermelon, but it's also pink and green, and y'all know that is my thing. But uh, as far as scents go, something that I think is Barbie core and is just sweet as sugar, and I think that Barbie would wear this Moschino pink, fresh, right? I think she, this is Eau de Toilette, but yes, it's very sweet and very Barbie-ish. This for sure, I mean, it's called Pink Sugar, so guys, yeah. Oh man, and look at the top. Hot pink, girl, yes. The last Barbie core perfume in my collection that I love, and this is more of a fall thing, but it is Parfums de Marley. It is, it's Oriana, right? <laughs> God. Yes, it is Oriana. I'm over here like tripping. I don't know what I've got, but yeah. Don't know what you got till it's on. Let me try it. I know it's a fall scent, but girl, I don't even care. Oh, it's marshmallowy goodness. Sweet marshmallow toasted goodness. Yes, this is the number one scent that I would find on Barbie is totally this. Oh my God, bag of the day. I forgot to tell you. It's this again, still. She can't get out of it. And also, Barbie, I just need you to know, life in plastic, yes. Okay, girl. But I kind of like rubbery and jiggly. Try that, Barbie. Biatch.